Hello ladies and gents, I'm DKD6 and I want to make this quick public service announcement regarding WannaCry, uh, which is the ransomware which is affecting people all over the world right now, including companies and it's, it's just affecting everyone. Over 230,000 computers have been affected so far, so I want to make this video to explain what the hell is going on, what ransomware is, how it's spreading, and how you can protect yourself if you haven't been affected already. If you have been affected, I'll also tell you your options, and there aren't many. So let's get on with this video, and I'll tell you everything you need to know about WannaCry. <laughs> Okay, so a lot of people have been asking me about this ransomware that's going around because people seem to think that I'm quite tech savvy with these things. So I thought instead of just telling a few people that are asking me, like my friends and family, I'd make a video for everybody. So as you may have heard, because the world's media is reporting this like crazy right now, uh, this cyber attack has been causing chaos throughout the world. Over 230,000 computers have been affected so far, including the NHS here in the UK. Um, Renault in France, uh, ambulances have been diverted, operations have been cancelled, it really is pretty damn bad. But what you need to understand first of all is what this attack is. Now this is a ransomware attack. And ransomware is basically a piece of malicious software which encrypts your hard drive and then holds it at ransom. And if you have been affected then you've probably seen this going around which is what comes up on your computer screen after you've been affected. So what it does is it encrypts your entire hard drive and it says you need to pay um, whatever amount. Uh, to get the decryption key so you can have access to all of your data and personal files again And now what WannaCry is doing is it's asking for $300 via Bitcoin And of course as you probably already know it's asking for Bitcoin because it's not traceable So it's saying we've encrypted your hard drive and all of your files uh, You have three days to pay $300 If you don't pay it within three days then it'll be $600 And if you don't pay within seven days then you've lost your data forever it then goes on to say, we will have a few free events for users who are so poor that they couldn't pay in six months. So best case scenario is if, is if you don't pay, then you have to wait at least six months to get access to your data. And I don't think that will happen anyways. You can pay the $300, which means you should receive a decryption key to get access to your data again. But I haven't heard of anyone successfully receiving a decryption key. So it looks like that's a no-go as well. And I wouldn't re recommend paying the $300 anyways, because chances are you won't get access to your data again anyways. It's just not a great situation to be in. So the way this is spreading and people are kind of uh, shocked by how quickly this is spreading. Uh, it's spreading really quickly because it's spreading via a computer worm. And as you may already know, a computer worm is a piece of standalone malware which replicates itself. So let's say, for example, um, a computer at the NHS was infected like it would have been because this is going on. So the NHS, one of the computers would have been infected via an email attachment or someone doing it on purpose or introducing this worm to the network in some way. There's loads of ways this could happen. Now what that worm would have done is it would have um, executed this ransomware and encrypted that computer's hard drive. Then what it would have done is because these NHS computers are connected to a network, it would have gone into the network and searched for any other computer on the network which had this exploit. Then it would copy itself onto those computers and encrypt those hard drives and hold them at ransom and it would just keep on spreading like that. So it's a worm that's executing this ransomware and it's spreading like crazy. So where the hell did it come from in the first place? Because this isn't new. I mean ransomware isn't new, worms aren't new, but this exploit is quite new. This exploit was leaked by a hacker group known as the Shadow Brokers. Now what they did was they leaked exploits developed by the NSA in the US and this particular exploit was called Eternal Blue. Now when this exploit came to light Microsoft was like oh hell no you know <laughs> because they didn't know about this exploit either. It was developed by the NSA because you know they're kind of shady and they spy on people and they want to execute programs remotely on people's computers. 
But when this exploit came to light in the public eye, Microsoft actually issued a patch on March the 14th. So if you had a computer running Windows 8.1 all the way up to Windows 10, and you had Windows updates, you know, installing regularly and automatically, then you would have been patched and you got nothing to worry about. This exploit shouldn't affect you and this ransomware shouldn't affect you either. And the problem is, is that large corporations or companies don't often run these updates or patch their software because they need to test it and you know it, it's it's a long drawn out process especially when you have thousands of computers on your network so lots of computers weren't already patched lots of people disable windows updates because they're kind of an inconvenience and people don't really care or see the importance of them so if you haven't run windows update already i recommend you do it right now so you need to go here type windows update click check for updates click check for updates here and then download all of the available updates make sure they're installed and that's it you're patched you're, you should be fine um, another thing that I'd recommend you do is you go to your antivirus software I personally run Kaspersky uh, go to database update click run update download all of the antivirus definitions and updates and whatever and make sure they're installed so that should get you protected right from the get-go. You know, if you, you need to download these Windows updates right now. You need to update your virus definitions right now to protect yourself. If you're still paranoid about what's going on and you don't want your stuff being encrypted, um, then I recommend backing up everything that's important to you to an external hard drive. If you back it up to a NAS drive, that should be fine uh, because NAS, NAS drives generally don't run any sort of Windows, so this exploit wouldn't exist on them. But if you back up to an external hard drive as normal, um, disconnect the hard drive from your PC because if this exploit was to affect your computer, chances are it would also encrypt everything you've backed up on the external hard drive as well. So make sure that's disconnected and keep it separate from your actual machine because you don't want that being encrypted as well by this ransomware. So right now that's pretty much all you can do to protect yourself uh, from this eternal blue exploit spreading via this worm um, and installing this WannaCry ransomware attack. If you have already been affected and you're seeing this on your computer screen right now, then like I said before, um, I wouldn't recommend paying the $300 via Bitcoin. You kind of just have, in my opinion, you probably, you're probably you probably just going to have to write off everything that's been encrypted. I mean, you could wait it out and see if anything else develops because this has only been going on for like 24 or 48 hours right now. Um, you could wait it out and see if there's any fix for this in the near future. But when it comes to encryption and ransomware, I don't think it's going to be likely. Another thing that I need to mention is that if you're running a Windows operating system that's prior to Windows 8.1, there was not a Windows update for those. So the patch and vulnerability still existed. So on March the 14th, they released a patch for all of these Windows versions from 8.1 onwards. Uh, so if you had Windows update live from then and downloaded the updates and stuff, you're fine. But for Windows 8 and lower so or windows 8 and older so windows xp windows vista and all that sort of thing microsoft actually released um, an update for those even though they're past their support cycle so today which is march the 13th they released a security update so they released that for windows xp windows 8 windows server 2003 and all of those older versions of windows so what you need to do is you need to go to the microsoft update catalog and you need to download the patch from there so if you haven't already been infected with this ransomware you need to download the patch from microsoft for your windows xp machine or windows 8 machine and make sure you download the patch and patch it that way but i do recommend you do this as soon as possible you need to get your operating system patched so this vulnerability and exploit is closed and you will not be affected by the WannaCry ransomware and that's pretty much all I have to say about this one I hope you haven't been affected if you have any other information for people watching this video please leave that information down in the comments so other people can read it if you have been affected let us know in the comments as well and share this video if you can um, we need to get the word out there we need to let people know how to protect themselves when it comes to this vulnerability because it is a nasty one and it is affecting tens or hundreds of thousands of computers around the world Thanks a lot for watching, like, subscribe and share if you care. I am DK86, bye!